Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, the Corvette is still on the left. We're actually wrapping up the final projects on getting this car ready for the dyno. I know we kind of already did one of these videos, but today I'm gonna to be kind of testing a new tool out to make sure that it's gonna work properly for the car. And I also kind of want to go through the pains of dealing with a car that you've customized so much that you kind of run into parts issues. So the tool that we're using today is actually for changing the oil. This is one of those three jaw oil filter wrenches. And basically, I saw this on the internet. I actually didn't even know these existed. One of my friends on Facebook said, you know, posted something about this is how I remove my, all my LS filters. And I was like, you know, removing an LS filter, especially on the Corvette, is a real big pain in the butt. So after I saw my friend post that he uses a claw-like tool like this, I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and give that a try because I have always struggled with this car in particular. Just there's no room. It's like almost every oil change I've done on this car for the last couple of years, especially with the long tube headers in, you know, I basically have had to knock a screwdriver through one end of the filter, screwdriver through the end of the end of the filter, and basically just bust it loose that way. And you know, it, it just, it makes a mess. It's not clean and just adds that much more time to put a hole in your filter, turn it, put a hole in your, another hole in the filter, turn it, and eventually get like three or four holes in it, and that way you can you know unscrew it all the way. But hopefully this three jaw tool will work and we'll let you guys know. And the other part of this video that I want to talk about was actually, you know, some of the stuff that you run into by having a heavily modified car. A few years ago, you will remember that I drilled a hole through the oil pan. I, I didn't intentionally drill a hole through the oil pan. I was tightening a bolt down and that bolt actually went through the aluminum and straight in the oil pan, everything started gushing out. Well, I ordered a replacement oil pan. We put it in, we haven't had any issues, but when I went to go grab another oil filter and put that on, that oil filter didn't fit. And that's because the LS2 oil pan that I had and the LS3 oil pan that I swapped to uses a different fitting on the inside of the oil pan. So. For our car, even though it's an LS2 short block with the LS3 oil pan, you have to use the PF48. So that very first oil change, I had no idea that I needed a 48. Thankfully, the SS over here takes a 48 as well, so I had those in stock. And, you know, so I had one. Luckily, I didn't have to, like, go to the store or anything. But it's just kind of those problems that you run into when you modify your cars. You order what you think an oil pan would not have changed between the LS2 and LS3 and the Corvette, because the oil pan literally is the same. The sensors are the same, the plugs are the same, uh, the bolts are the same, all that stuff is pretty much the same, but they used a different fitting on it. So, like I said, it's just some of the things that you run into. Now, this is not going to be an oil change video. You, there's dozens, probably hundreds of oil change videos on there, but I will show you trying to get the oil filter off the car and see if this little tool is going to work for our swap today. Alright guys, we have already drained the oil by using the 15 millimeter bolt on the drain pan. We have our little tool here. And basically what we're gonna be trying to do is get this thing to tighten up against the oil filter. So you're gonna turn left and go like that. I'm probably gonna have to tighten this up by hand and then put the socket on it. I'm sorry, the uh, wrench. So, uh, all right, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and put the wrench on here and see if this does anything. Uh, well, we put all in the oil pan, or I'm sorry, the oil filter. All right, well, it has knocked the filter loose. I just don't know if we put a hole in it. Try uh, putting the wrench on it again. And by the way, guys, I'm not sure what you can see on camera, but I do have a drip pan under the car, underneath my oil catch can right here. So no matter if we're spilling oil, we basically have two ways to catch it. Did it put a hole in it? Yeah, okay, it did put a, it did slice the oil filter. Not a bigger deal, but 
guys. This thing's aw, this thing's already loose. So that's awesome. Yes, we mangled the hell out of the oil filter, but all right, there you go. The tool does work. Wow, I'm shocked at how much oil there's still coming out of that filter. All right, so we'll let this drain, clean up the filter, and uh, yeah, so when we finish up down here, we'll catch up back up top. All right guys, so that was the beginning to end of using that filter wrench on the LS motor. Guys, I wish I had seen that tool years ago. It's just not something I've ever paid attention to. I would never seen it before, and you never know what you're gonna find surfing Facebook, and I happen to see that post asked about it, got more information, you know, about what type of product that was. And I'll actually have a link down in the description down below for that filter wrench. And uh, that should help you, especially on your LS motors, because yes, that thing did mangle the oil filter. You know, that is the fastest I've ever changed the oil on my Corvette in the 12 years I've owned this car. No, 13 years I've owned this car, wow. Yeah, you know, back when I was on a stock exhaust, you could fit a standard wrench on it. And when I say a standard wrench, I'm talking about one of these, you know, just one of these, you know, you pull it, it tightens as you break it loose and it'll come off. So I, I used a device like this for years and obviously I've never had that much of an ease of getting that thing off. So the Corvette especially is a pain in the butt. As you guys could see, everything is, you know, tight in that area. You barely have a quarter inch between the oil pan and the filter. Probably like 75% of the filter is surrounded by the oil pan. So, you know, it's just a real big pain trying to get that thing off. So definitely would recommend this tool. Could you buy a little bit more expensive version that probably would slip less? Yeah, you probably could. But for, you know, you guys just saw that I effortlessly got that filter off. It took maybe two minutes, something like that. And uh, we should be good. So anyway, like I said, if you want to pick one up, check the link down in the description down below. If you guys like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you want to know when I upload new content, make sure you guys hit that bell notification button. And if you guys want to help support the channel, check out our website and check out all the links down below. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. <laughs>